So uh, here you go. It's your it's your stage. Okay. From here on in, <coughs> kind of ignore me. I'll be moving in and out, but I but it's your stage. Okay. And I'm here to serve your drama. Okay. Thank you. Um, I I think there's something going on now where I'm transitioning from, you know, the I, I was going to be a star when I was young. Okay, and that was I was going to save the family by being a star. And now I'm using um, the tools of the theater, the tools of improvisation, more to help people and bring them together. People that are in recovery, people that have other purposes where they might want to uh, advance themselves. Mm -hmm. So there's this transitional difficulty I'm having between letting go of the idea of being a star so I need to talk to somebody. I'm not sure. Maybe it's my mom. Uh, maybe it's fame. Maybe I need to talk to fame or something that really is the front edge. This isn't like a canned thing that I've already worked through. This is really front edge. So, and it's interfering because I'm, my mind is still in the one world and all the fantasy of the fame and all I think that's could be. And the other one is, you know, transitioning to this thing I'm, I've kind of actually been called to do a little bit more um, a little bit more uh, fervently or whatever by the universe it seems so I'm in a transition period now and, and I don't know what maybe I could just talk to fame I want to talk to fame got it yeah what do you want to say fame what are you doing oh buddy I mean you came into my trailer when I was a kid and I just was like, you're gonna get me out of here. You were like a, like a, a rescuing um, uh, prince that would come to save the princess, you know. And, and I guess I was the princess in that deal. You, you were gonna save me, you know. You were gonna come rescue me and get me out of the trailer park. And and you're like an old friend. Like you're. I see you. It's weird. I can kind of see you. Like, yeah. And and and. And I don't want to leave you behind, but I feel like there's a lot here. There's a lot here that's, 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 um, I don't know what I need to say to you. I don't want to let you go. That's what it is. I don't want to let you go. River Strolls. I don't want to let you go. <laughs> yes, it is I. It is I. Yes, fame. That elusive elixir, that wonderful fop. Uh, yes, I'm here to, uh, I'm here to spin perfumed tales of how you're going to get from where you are to wherever that fantastic future is. And I can spin those tales all day to make you feel better. So, Fame, may I uh, ask you a few questions? Yes. Does he know he has been, he has achieved a, a, a level of fame? No, no, no. He hasn't, he hasn't achieved the kind of fame, the kind of fame that I am. So, so it's a lovely point that you make. It's the kind of fame I have achieved is the kind of fame that is always just out of reach. It has to be by design. It's just around the corner. That's what it is. That's what, that's what it is. Reverse row. Holy shit balls. Sorry. So I've said that. Feel free. We didn't talk about. It. You can say what you. You stage. can say it's no your because stage. that was really helpful because I was just talking to somebody. So fame, okay, fame, fear of missing out. I I just coached someone yesterday that the fear of missing out that they were experiencing was 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 not necessary. That there is no over there, and I never saw you as something that has to be impossible to reach. You have to be impossible to reach. Wow. That's the piece of you that that is troubling to me because it's out of reach. It's but unattainable. Unattainable. Which is the elixir, which is yes. the draw, which That's is it. the glue that yeah. keeps me hooked. 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 It's like an addiction. It's an addiction, and you are the you are the spell the the the, the, the weaver of the tail. You're weaving the tail. So. Maybe I can pull this chair back. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at you. Oh. You know, I, I, I feel like I should be mad at you for being misleading, but you're a charming old, you know who you are? You're, you're, you're the father, Tyrone Guthrie, in Long Day's Journey Into Night. You are like this, you know, you've got the, 
you can spin the tails and make everybody, you know, you're charming. That's it. You're charming, but you're not in reality. And you're a little bit not in reality for for specific reasons. Well, I guess, you know, you were appealing to me because I didn't want to be in my reality. You know, I, I'm, I'm in my bedroom. I'm in my bedroom, and you appear, and you say, there's this wonderful world of success and fame just around the corner. I want to go with you. Reverse roles. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go with me? I know, I know you want to go with me. That's where I want you to go. I want you to follow me. Just orbit around me and you'll have fun. Just stay in my orbit, kid, and you'll be fine. I'm such a star. I'm a star. Do you understand what a star is? It has things in its orbit. Just move around me and pick, the, pick up the the gold and the grapes and the wine that splash over to the side. There's plenty left. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't pick it apart. Reverse roll. That's not enough, man. When you put it like that, that's like I'm just totally, with what I know now, it's like I'm a total codependent appendage or satellite personality to your central thing. And I, what's funny is I, as I'm saying this, I feel like I should be so mad at you, and I am not. And, I'm, and I'm, I want to be. I want to be mad at you. So I want to tell you why I'm not mad at you. I want to tell you why I'm not mad at you. You're fun. You're fun. You're exciting. And you got me out of that trailer. You got me out of that trailer. You 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 made it so that uh, I could make friends. I took that on. I became that. There are I, parts of you I want to keep. There are parts of you I want to keep. I can do that? You can keep parts. You can let go of parts. It's your stage. That's interesting because I was thinking I have to, like, all or nothing. I've got to, there's my black and white thinking. I'm thinking i got to... Decide whether you're good or bad and get rid of... Oh, interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, you protect me. You protect me. Tell them why. You protect me from the... from the. You're more confident than I am. You're more confident than I am. And, and you are up, you absorb it all. You, you, you're funny, you're, 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 you're large. I'm insecure. I have doubts. I go back and forth. I'm neurotic. I'm, I'm prosecutorial. I've got these nasty parts that are, you know, these, these character flaws that come out, you know. You know, a kind acknowledgement. Um, so, Fame, are you up for something? Yes. Would you stand behind your chair? Sure. And double for yourself? Now, I'm very large. I'm afraid I'm going to go out of frame. Is it okay if I come back here? Is it a, can I come here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You're in the double position. Because I'm always aware of the frame. We'll keep you in the frame. <laughs> You'll rule the frame. <laughs> this is your frame. Thank you. This, mm -hmm. the devil, yes. is what's not coming out here. This is what you're not letting him see. Because he thinks you never have an insecure moment. I have to keep moving. I have to keep moving. I don't want him to know, if there's something I don't want him to know, is that I have to do this. I have to keep moving. I have to keep, again, perfuming the air with my scent and my brand and my words. and Because I have to keep it all going. I don't know what's going to happen if I stop it or slow down. I, I don't, you know, I don't like to look at in those places. And he likes to look in all of the crannies and the nooks and all of that stuff. Can you even get behind yourself and double what's going on well, on the inside? Well, I would say only the, the only part, maybe, I went back into it, but the part about, I, I don't want to slow down. I don't want to find out about other people or stop talking or stop monologuing, you know, and I don't, I wouldn't say that to him. As long as I have the floor. Yeah, as long as I have the floor, then... As long as I keep narrating my experience... Yes. I don't have to let anything impinge on my dream. That's right, my dream Because if other yes. people open their mouths and insert their experience, I fill that in. Well, it's other, it's other abusive people. They'll, they'll criticize me. They'll hurt me with their words. 
I have to keep up a wall of entertainment and keep them on their back heels so that they can't get at me with the words that my mother used to say or that the neighborhood kids would say. Well, I have to keep very, very busy because my yes. version of what's out there is quite hostile. Yeah, oh, it's quite hostile, and, and, and I can't let him know that. I don't want to bring him into all of that. So. But curiously, he's had a very similar experience. I think if you let him know that, you'd be doing him a favor. What do you think? Well, I can try it. Okay. We <coughs> might be. Okay. I actually can't stop this whole thing, this whole me thing, because I don't want to take in anyone else's reality, anyone else's words, anyone else's uh, stuff, ideas, thoughts, opinions, criticisms, criticisms mostly. I'm afraid that if I take in more from outside... I'm afraid that if I take in more from outside, I'll be overwhelmed. I'll be eradicated. I'll be, I'll disappear. And I do not want to disappear. I want to be here. And I am fun. I'm fun and it's good to have me here and around. Who hurt you, Fang? Oh, my mother. Your mother. His mother. Your mother. Your mother. Do you think he wants to talk to her? Mm. He probably uh, could get something from it. It would be a great scene in a play. Up to him. Would, would you be willing to try? Reverse roles. Well, it's scary because, I mean, it's scary to think about that because it's, um, you know, I don't know, a little bit. Yeah, sure, I'd go into a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. So. What we need to do is have another chair to represent her. And, uh, so, Dion, what would you like to say? Well, to the mom? first thing I've noticed is that I've crossed my legs like Fane. Um, I've taken that on. So, uh, Mom, you hurt me sometimes with your words. I wasn't as strong as, you know. Uh, as my joking nature would, would make it seem. My tough skin, my you can't hurt me attitude. It's not really the truth, you know, I can be hurt. <clears throat> In fact, I don't really like to say you hurt me to people. I, I, I almost never say it, you hurt me. I won't tell anybody that, because I, I always think that's like blamey. But it comes from, you know, that, that stuff. And, and I, I, I went through years of raging and yelling and things like that at you, but now it's just like simply, it did hurt. And it's still impacting me. That's the part. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> yes, maybe I, excuse me. <clears throat> it hurt. It hurt me. Where are you feeling it? Not here. Right. So Chest. if this, can you put your hand there? Mm -hmm. If that part of you had a voice, what would it say to mom? Tight. Chest. Tight tightness why 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 are you doing this why are you doing this can't you see this is hurting me why 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 You're why it's hurting me why 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 why, why? no it's why? it's all it's all involved in itself it's not even it's not even it's like yeah why i guess it's like why 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 why, why? why, why, why? can't you see this is hurting why, me why, i'll try why, it on why, why? What, 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 why, why, why? I can't make any sense of this. I can't it's make any sense of this. Of, it's a barrage what, of pain coming at me. This is a barrage of pain coming down, at me. Shutting down. I'm shutting, shutting down. Shutting down. Shutting I'm hiding. I'm, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. This is too much. This, this is, too, is too much. Why, why, why? Why, 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 you're in this big crazy haze. Correct that if it's wrong. What? Where? What is going on? Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> I'm here. I'm here. Like I'm, I'm here. here. 
I'm not no one. I'm not nothing. I'm not, no, I'm gonna. I don't want to. I no, 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 no. Uh. No, I'm not listening anymore. No. <clears throat> I'm not listening to you anymore. <clears throat> no, you're not safe to listen to. <clears throat> you're not safe to listen. You're not safe to listen to. No. Mm-hmm. I no. No. No, I, I can't say that to you. That you'd to break. You. You'd, you'd break. You'd, you'd, you'd break. crumble. You'd, 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 you'd evaporate. With it, it, I, rolls. With her, her? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I can't say that to you. You'd break. You'd crumble. You'd evaporate. You better not talk to me like that. You better never talk to me like that. You remember this hand and this ring. You better never talk to me that way. And this guy, whew, I just, I don't even, you know. We don't, I don't even, uh, that's, that's, I, I, I hate that. I hate that. And I told you many times that I hate um, being yelled at by my father. I would rather have gotten spanked than yelled at. I do not want that. Do not raise your voice to me. Do not talk to me that way. Reverse rules. Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, that's what I know that to be true. Yeah. I won't do that. I'm not going to do that. He'll do that. He'll do that. He will go through a very elaborate (coughs) life. (coughs) He will go through a very elaborate, lifelong psychodrama. Going to drama school. Going to seven years so he can be in a play and finally get a character that can yell to finally get that out. And I saw that when I was in graduate school. That's what these people are doing. They're getting, they're going through all this ritual to just be okay to express what's pent up. When in psychodrama, we can just do it. So, would it be okay with you if this guy came a little closer to you and together you could say what you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> here's the thing I don't want to rage at this frail woman and I don't know if that's right or whether it's wrong but I don't want that I do want her to be an ancillary witness to the anger that's in there Um, so can you with the help of this guy say some things to mom that she can hear because what happens when when we get traumatized like this is our thinking becomes black and white and as the devil I would say I'm afraid my rage will annihilate you and the only other gear I have in your presence is withdrawal and shutting down or or, or entertainer or entertainer (coughs) I, I that works I can entertain you and I can let things slip out as an entertainer that I couldn't let slip out from here. Right. Correct that if it's wrong. No, that all sounds about right. But I am wanting to say a few things to you as Dion. Measured things. Words. So sit up straight and listen. I'm wanting to say a few measured things to you as Dion. I have had a bad rap, difficult time, black sheep of the family, (laughs) to say the least, Um, kind of role for a number of years I had it. I also have Hero too, which came in later, but a lot of that stuff was not mine. I was really... The wiring got really messed up. And there was a lot of rage and anger and things that I was told clearly. Just you couldn't have your feelings. You just couldn't have your feelings or express them. And there were just tremendous frustrations and difficulties with being the only brown kid in our neighborhood, you know, and trying to express that or deal with my own racial identity. It could never be me. It could never be me in my mind, that was really expressing this stuff. Sadness, any range of something that was beyond flatline. Could you sit right in between, right in the middle, and talk from the middle? (laughs) Keep this part that you want and integrate this part. Well, this is both of us. This This is the best of it. This is me at my best, really. 
me at my best is not fully in that mode and not fully in this mode. And present, able to deal with you compassionately, but also to, to deal with you clearly. Um, you know, I'm upset that you, I miss you, it's the other part. You died in 2005, you know, uh, 15 years ago at the time of this recording. And I miss you, and I want to share with you what my life has become beyond those difficulties that I experienced earlier. Because I wasn't just the yelling. I'm going to tell you about what my life has become. My life has become very rich, and my, my ability to relate to people has become more nuanced. I can have intimacy with people, emotional, healthy intimacy with people. People look to me for things, they involve me in things that are not just for my entertainment value. I have more value than just as a cipher for somebody else's humorous ideas. I'm not just a performer, and that's all I really was for you. As I'm saying that, I'm realizing you didn't make me become, do that adjustment. But I did that adjustment, and part of me wants you to know that, and I wish we could have worked through, and you could have gotten to know me more. That's all. I wish you could have gotten to know me more. I wish I could have gotten to know me sooner. I didn't. I accept that. But that's what's in me right now. And what's integrating right now, and this is not even with my mom, this is just what's integrating, is that there's good here in this compensatory person that evolved, and there's good here in my real wounded feeling self but I vacillate wildly still between these two and um, I think that's very helpful to put my finger on